Hi guys, welcome to the channel and to my top 3 Town Hall 15 attack strategy series. This is where I ask you to drop off your best Legend League attacks at Gary the Goblin Clan. It's open, there's a link to the clan in the video description. Drop off your best Legend League attacks and each week I'll pick the top 3. Something a bit different, fun, powerful, easy to use for the casual player like myself. And then at the end of the week I'll share these attacks with you so we can learn some new Town Hall 15 attack strategy. So first up is what? attacking a pretty nasty Town Hall 15 base. And this attack strategy I did cover a few weeks ago. 10 Electro Titans and 10 Skeleton Spells. Really good against these bases with open wall segments. So Wasp doesn't even have maxed out heroes. Are they going to manage to three-star this base? Yes, they are, guys. And don't worry, all of the army copy links for these attacks are in the video description. So what you're going to do is put down the skeleton spells to distract the defenses. One on the left, one on the right, and then some in front of your main army. Then a line of Electro Titans, heroes in the center, with the Log Launcher lined up with some nasty defenses. Use your Grand Warden ability nice and early, guys. And we have got the Royal Champion. I would say with the Royal Champion, send her in a bit later. And again, the key to this attack is putting down those skeleton spells in front of the main army, near scatter shots, heroes, the monolith, single target infernos, distract those defenses and keep the damage away from your army. Royal Champion means sent in on the right hand side. I would say the Royal Champion with a Phoenix is a good combination there. But yeah, guys, I love this attack, so I had to include it. Thank you again to Wasp for sharing this replay. But guys, it's pretty close. We don't have much of an army left now. The Grand Warden struggling on the right hand side and do remember we do have two other attack strategies we're going to be checking out in just a moment the king's there still there's a yeti uh, attacking a scanner shots just off the screen the royal champion ability has been used and it is very important so the main things with this attack are using your skeleton spells to distract the defenses you know for the funnel at the beginning then the main attack then I would say use the Earthquake spell on the Town Hall and surrounding defences makes it easier to take out. Try and keep your main army away from the Town Hall if you can and send in your Royal Champion a bit later when it's safe to do so and you can look at the battlefield and think, yeah, I'll send the Royal Champion there, not next to the King, thank you very much. There we go, guys. So we've got the Phoenix left to get us three stars. That Expo says, why am I on grounds mode? This isn't fair. Well, there we go. So yeah, something a bit different for our first attack. Definitely, I really like that attack strategy. Thank you very much. So on to our next attack. And what have we got, guys? Yes, Super Archers, Yetis, Electro Titan, some Earthquake Spell and Skeleton Spells. But don't worry, there's no Super Archers inside the Battle Blimp. And this base is pretty popular in the Legend League at the moment. I've been using it and it's done really well. So first of all then, a bit of a funnel. A couple of Yetis on the left, a couple of Yetis on the right with a couple of Super Archers. And again, guys, just reminding you, all the army copy links for these armies today are in the video description. Remember to hit that subscribe button and notification bell. Anyway, back to the attack. A nice funnel. And there's the log launch your rest of the troops in the center again you've got those skeleton spells and i've been realizing recently skeleton spells they're really powerful and i think we need to be using them especially with ground attacks at town hall 15 earthquake spells have been used to open up the base skeleton spells are starting to be used now to distract those monoliths and the expos there attack them can we take out that town hall there and thank you to vishnu for the replays i think vishnu has had another replay in this series as well so thank you yeah guys and if you do drop off your replays, all I would try and say is if you can make sure they're against bases with the monolith, the spell towers, you know, pretty maxed out. Because we want to see how these armies do against bases that are pretty tough to beat. Uh, you know, anything without the monolith or spell towers is obviously a bit easier. So we're going to have trouble featuring those replays. And I will try and drop into Gary the Goblin Clan and talk to people as well. So the town hall got taken out there. That was magnificent. Uh, nothing left in the center of the base. Royal Champion on the right-hand side moving through the base again. And as you can see, the Royal Champion with Phoenix again. I used to use the Royal Champion with Diggy all of the time. But to be honest, you can use the Royal Champion to sort of take out the Town Hall if you're struggling. If you use the Phoenix, it, it doesn't work all the time. But it gives you that extra sort of five, six seconds. And the Phoenix as well can change the outcome of the battle. So how are we doing here? We've got some Super Archers left. And Super Archers are powerful as well obviously inside a battle blimp, but as part of the main army, they're a good backup troop. They can shoot for miles, can't they? Do loads of damage. So the Queen's there, nearly on full health, still got the Queen ability. 
the multi inferno ready and waiting with an expo but we should be able to take out the multi and can we take out the multi inferno is it too far i think it's too far but we can take out the expo there and the queen is saying it's just out of range i can't reach that multi inferno but the super archers say don't worry we're here but we don't know if we've got enough no we haven't got enough health so the queen's gonna have to break through that wall and then she should be okay electro titan helping out as well so guys i know i keep going on about it but if you've found an army that's nice you know found an army that you think is easy to use yeah drop off a replay that'd be fantastic and i'll try and feature your attack in the next video but again just recapping all of these attacks i'm trying to give you something a bit different easy to use at town hall 15 for the casual player now this is a bit more difficult in at number one so thanks to uh, anonymously for the replay we've got some archers super wall breakers some balloons rocket balloons as well so the main mission here and i did say we didn't have any super archers inside the battle blimp we have on this attack guys here we go so you can use the rocket balloons to help get that battle blimp towards the town hall and then unpack the battle blimp use an invisibility spell then of course you've got your clone spells rage spell you know the rest guys get those troops cloned get them to take out the town hall and yeah, super archers inside the battle blimp still are the most powerful attack at Town Hall 15 for the casual player, in my opinion. You've got Laloon, uh, hybrid attack, double hog rider. They're really powerful, but they're a bit more difficult to use. Super archers, even though they, they do take a bit of skill, I still think they're the easiest attack overall for a Town Hall 15 player who's casual, you know, like myself to get three stars because they just do so much damage to the town hall on the right base yeah it can go wrong a giant bomb here or there and they can be gone uh, anyway what's going on we've got the electro titan having a fight with some ice golems there that's not nice but electro titans as well let's have a look at what are the best troops at town hall 15 i think electro titans are up there skeleton spells as well they're not troops the spells sorry yes guys yetis easy to use witches uh, but yeah electro titans are great it means you don't need to worry about skeleton spells as well clan castle troops not really because obviously the electro titans does loads of damage to those clan castle troops queen doing well in the center of the base and on this attack it's all about just getting your troops into the base looking after them after you've taken out the town hall and guys i've put these in an order today three two one but it's really hard for me to choose so i wouldn't necessarily say this is the best attack i'd probably say the first one might be but i, I don't know i think this i'm not sure uh, i had troll i'm trying to say is i think they're all pretty equal i know this is in at number one but yeah i think all of them are quite nice easy to use attacks my favorite is probably number three the first one with 10 electro type and 10 skeleton spells fantastic anyway it looks like we're gonna get three stars here doesn't it and guys let's just go through a couple of things obviously if you've enjoyed the video please do like it today that'd be nice remember to subscribe hit that notification bell for more videos like this and guys if you didn't know on this channel we do have something called a creator code as well and if you're not sure what a creator code is it's just a way you can help support your favorite content creator in game in clash of clans by using their code before making any purchases all you do is go into the shop there's a cm there click on that little box comes up and enter your favorite content creators code our code is code moose any support would be amazing and you do need to renew it once a week anyway i hope you're enjoying this series something a bit different sharing attacks from you i thought yeah it's a beautiful way to showcase what people are using at the moment. Anyway, I hope you have a lovely day today. Remember the Army Copper links are in the video description. Remember to practice your funneling, and I'll see you later, guys. Bye.